Hey everybody, Joe here. We're gonna go over the contents of a typical band setup that you might buy online. This is the Instar Gym 3.0 that I bought. And you're almost always gonna get handles with D-rings so that you can pull with your upper body. You're gonna get usually cuffs for your ankles, so with the d ring so you can pull with your legs. You're gonna get door anchors so that you can anchor the weight inside a door frame, and I'll show you that in detail. You're gonna usually get like foot straps so that you can put your feet through it and in this kit there's a bar with eye bolts on the end to hook up the uh, bands to the ends and my favorite part of this particular kit is the bench press device and it's got different colored bands that are different thicknesses so that you get a variable resistance and it can get really challenging so let's say you want to hook up your typical handle setup what you'll do is you'll take your door anchor which basically has this like rubber donut on the end hook it up to one of your bands Take the little donut and put it on the other side of the door. Slide it underneath, and I've got two set up here, and pull the door shut. Now make sure your door is low enough so that the anchor is in there good and doesn't come flying out. That would be bad. And then, basically, you're set. So on the ends is the handles, and you can do stuff like curls and rows and like I'm doing here, flies. And for your legs, you'd hook the cuff onto your ankle. So in order to do that... You just take the strap and put it through the ring on the other side. Bring the D-ring to whichever position you want it in, back, front, or side, depending on the exercise, and secure the Velcro. So in this case, I'm going to do leg extensions. So you'll hook up a band that's attached to the door anchor to your ankle cuff and kick away. If that's not enough weight, you can always take another band, hook it up to the D-ring, and you've got more resistance. And that's something to keep in mind every time you see me do an exercise. It's probably just a demonstration, but you can always add more weights. So, and we're gonna work with the bar now. So you hook up the bar to, let's say the foot straps so that you can anchor the weight with your feet. So what you'll do is you'll get some shoes that are appropriate, something pretty sturdy, and take the foot strap and slide it over your foot and get it about to where your arch is and make sure it's secure. Then hook up your bar and you can do curls, overhead presses. I'm gonna go all in here and do a squat. So you just dip under it, roll it down and push. And once again, you can add more weight. This is for demonstration purposes. Lots of takes wears you out. So <laughs> I was pretty tired there. Anyway, the bench press device is my favorite. And I really like it. It's just neat because you can get a good upper body workout anywhere. So you just put it on like it's a, like it's a jacket or whatever. Put it around your back of your shoulders. Get it, get it secured in there and just push. And you can do flies, presses in any direction, decline, a little bit of incline. Uh, that's a really cool device. So that's, that's it. Basically, that's a wrap. Um, it's just a general overview of what you might see in a kit. I'm going to do every body part, plenty of different exercises, and I'm even going to do some stuff on my uh, do-it-yourself power rack. So stay tuned.